In Paris, with the summit meeting sabotaged beyond salvage by Khrushchev's deliberate propaganda tirades, President Eisenhower, Prime Minister Macmillan, and President de Gaulle make their farewells. Meanwhile, with all hopes for the summit talk shattered, Khrushchev stamps on the ruins at a tumultuous press conference. Khrushchev outdoes his earlier outburst against President Eisenhower at the commencement of the Paris meeting. Flanked by Foreign Minister Gromyko and glowering Marshal Malinowski, he fires a barrage of threats, insults, and menaces, warns of devastating blows at bases used by American espionage planes, denounces American acts of aggression, and in general follows a tough line that seems to signal a new freezing spell in the Cold War. 